Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a really fun haul for you guys. So Madam Glam sent these over. Oh God, I'm terrible at these, I know. I will get this. Nailed it, I promise I will eventually get better at opening boxes. That's a lie, I won't. So I'm so excited. These are from the Wanted collection and I got to pick four colors so naturally I picked beautiful colors because they're all beautiful. So let's go ahead and swatch these. I was not quite sure like what the finish would be because in the photo the dots are probably about yay big that you pick from. So they are pretty much a surprise, at least for me, um, when I get them. But can we see? Do we see? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to do a look with these. I already know, I feel it. Maybe I'll put it in this video. That's a good idea. Okay, let's do swatches first. All right, first one is Beautiful Chaos. It looks super cool in the packaging. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, I'm, I'm obsessed. All right, I have an idea. We are going to do a look after this. Look at how pretty these are. This would look killer over an existing color, or if you like to wear kind of like naked nails, how I like to wear my nails a lot, this would be beautiful. So if you had this like over your nail, all right, next one is I got it from my mama. Love it. So pretty. I love me a good pink. Look, that's so pretty. If you're wanting definitely, um, if you're wanting opacity with these, you're gonna definitely have to do at least two coats, but if you have this over on your natural nail, it's going to appear darker than when it's on a swatch stick. I mean, that looks completely see-through, but as soon as you add a nail under it, it's not. So don't freak out if you see the swatch and it's like, there's nothing there. There is something there. That's why I wanna do a look with that. That way you can kind of have a feel for it. Next we have RGB, or no, R, yeah, RBG. I'm thinking, you know, if you do color, oh my goodness. You know what? I just did all of those, you know, um, Aurora nails. This would have been nice for those. I might have to try doing those nails with these. I love, love polishes that, um, are versatile because like for me I like to because again I just do my own nails so I like to get something that okay see I promise so you can see there is something there I feel like I'm being stupid when I swatch these because they literally look clear all right last one is sky's the limit which this is like a blue I couldn't tell if this was like a blue or a gray oh my goodness I'm obsessed. I feel like I gotta find some better words when I swatch. Cause I feel like I'm just like, oh my God, I love that. Oh my God. What do you guys like to hear with swatch videos? Cause I feel like I don't say anything productive except for, oh my God, I love that. All right, here are the colors. Look at how pretty. Those definitely showed up much better with two coats, but again, on a natural nail, it is so much more opaque. So before we get to the tutorial, we're gonna show them in glossy. And then I now like to matte the underside because I like to see what they look like matte. I love them matte. I'm not gonna even lie here. Look at how good they look matte. So I'm taking most of the polish off my brush and I'm just going to kind of come up and just grab a little bit at the end. So I do have oval-ish nails, so I will be putting on a little bit more than if I were to do a square nail. And I am going to now take everything off that brush. So there is like hardly anything on there. 
and I'm going to pull back. So I'm pulling back towards myself here. So what you can do is use your polish brush that's there and just wipe it off on a lint-free wipe. But I am just going to take this. This is my color, one that I use for color, um, oval number four. But I am just going to pull this even farther back. So we get to a nice fade. So you kind of have like three areas now. So you have the concentrated area, the semi-concentrated area, and then that fade, and then the nothing. Okay, so I'm taking that, again, that brush where I have most of it off, and just ever so slightly working it back up to that third layer. So we're getting there. All right, we have cured that. So again, I'm just going to pop a little bit on the tip here. So the second layer, I am being a little bit less generous. So literally, let me darken you just a little bit. So I just put majority right here on the tip and then we will fade backwards again. I have pretty much everything off my brush. So we're coming in with that second part flipping it around so I can get this side. I am going to take that, again, it's, nothing's on it, but that color brush, but I am going to take just a smidge of the top coat from Madame Glam. So I am gonna take that top coat and I am still going to use that color brush because we will be having color on it but I'm just going to grab ever so slightly. You can see there's like hardly anything on there. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag downward. So we're blending downward from that first blended area to that gel polish wiped off brush area Again, just ombreing that clear. So I'm just working it in over and over again, wiping off if I get too much color. So you could go in with your pink um, base coat here. Again, this is a built up nail, but if you wanted to kind of blend it more that way, you could, but the benefit of this type of sheared color is this. It's like a hidden secret. It just creates the most beautiful, seamless blend. Taking that Madame Glam top coat and applying it to the entire nail. and curing it. I mean, does it get any better than that? I don't think so. All right, let's go ahead and do the rest of the nails. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the Here 
here my little ombres. I love them so much. I uh, have other ideas that I'm going to put these with, but I love little ombres. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget, I do have a 30% off coupon, but if you join their VIP program, that beats my coupon. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.